Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. And the battles inside the Brawlgar Arena continue, guys. We're investigating Shadowmaster Skrizik, and we are at 55 out of 100 Soul Splinters that we need to go ahead and complete this quest. So let's go ahead and sub, queue up sub. for our next battle. We are currently at rank, I think, 3 or 4. Go forth to victory. There's only one way to find out, and that's jumping in the ring and seeing what our next fight's going to be. And hopefully it'll be one that we remember. There's no one else here, so... Oh, actually, real quick. The oh, too late. We are rank four. Woo! <laughs> Sandworms. You hate them, right? Well, that, ooh, that, unexpected. Shadow worms, you hate them worse, right? I don't know if we fought anything like this during the, no, whatever you, whatever you're doing, I say no. Just randomly. Shooting out void <laughs> and an eldritch blast. How about no? It's like as long as we keep moving, I think we're in good shape. And stay out of the stupid. That is important. And we will cloak of shadows. And there we go. Now we should be getting a lot of splinters out. Okay, 12. Sealed Storm Stout Brew. Eh, don't mind getting paid occasionally in alcohol. At least if it accompanies some money. All right, sixty-seven. Yes. And Salama Ashalanore. The eternal sun guides us. There we go. Now we're ready for the next match. Greetings. Thrall her. Strength. Who's next up on the chopping block, eh? Doesn't look like Smee can go into the uh, arena with me, sadly. I'm sorry there, first mate. Actually, I'd like to bet on you in the arena. I think you do pretty good. Whoa! Next. Oh, it's you. I have been dreading this. Yep. <laughs> Looks like I was on the chopping block, or maybe the barbecue pit, one of the two. Lotar, Dabu. Yeah, we gotta interrupt that flame wall. Flame wall is nasty. That's pretty much the end of the fight, unless I can cloak a shadows, but it was on cooldown. It's about to not be on cooldown. There we go. Alrighty. No firewall for you. Okay, and it's all like all over the place. So we basically just gotta get away from oh pyroblast. <laughs> okay, I think if memory serves, when he does the firewall. As long as we back out, we should be okay. Or there's going to be like a little path that we can travel. Blood and thunder. We also need to remember to interrupt that pirate blast. I 
Okay, let's see here. There we go. No pirate blast for you. Alright, I think we're in good shape now. I said no. And we are going to keep our interrupts. Regular fireball is fine. Ish. Okay, probably going for the pyroblast now. And we kicked. There we go. You know, occasionally it takes me uh, slamming my head against the wall, but I eventually get the way I need to go. Survey says, Soul Splinter, hand blood clotted handkerchief. Now, the one thing, we actually could get soul shards by fighting some of the lesser fights here, but I want to rank up, so. Strength and honor. And we are halfway through rank four. For the whore. We need to get to rank six, at least. Because I believe rank six gets us access to the Zeppelin. Because Sully Swindlegi is a high roller. He didn't get this he didn't get that brawler title just by sitting there. Eh. Ooh, spy master. Oh, I've seen this one. Okay. A feathery creature. Feathery creature. So he gives off um Ow. Oh, he does a knockback. Whoopsie. Creeps of the deep sea. So, okay. What this guy does is that he will occasionally... Uh, he'll give out a clue, and you have to head to the right item, whether that's the chicken for the feathery creature, um, the squid for creature of the sea. That master stroke that he does, however, will knock you out of the safe zone, so we need to basically hang out at the very edge, because then the entire area bursts into flames. Alrighty. What do you need? I saw someone fighting him, but I did Go not know with honor. what we needed to do for the master stroke. And then I think in his final phase, he hides everything, and you have to kind of make an educated guess. But maybe we can cloak a shadows out of that one. Do a little bit of, uh, cheating. Eh? Uh -huh. Eh, uh, furry friend the cuddle, furry friend the cuddle. Ooh, Corgi! Let's see. Oh. We're good. A uh, waxy treasure. That'll do. We are living on the edge. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, I guess when he does the master stroke, we just have to get out of the way of it. Hmm. Strength and honor. Go forth to victory. I don't know if he follows you. I don't think he will. Well, we teleported there for a split second. This is one of those fights I am going to zoom out all the way on because I need to see where everything is. Frog, Corgis, a hey, creature of the deep sea. All right, he. Let's keep on stay on the edge here, but then back up when he does the master stroke. There we go. That's what we need to do. Q. 
Okay, furry friend the cuddle, that's the corgi. Iron appliance, iron appliance. This'll do. And feathery creature, that'll be the chicken. Oh, he's blinded me. I know where we are, though. Aha! Alright. And we're just going to go ahead and poke the shadows out of this. Woo! I don't even think the bomb went off. Excellent. Eleven. Curious spike trap. Well, that puts us at 90 soul splinters, so the next fight should be the last one. In both this rank and for this investigation. Sub -sub. Or at least this part of the investigation. For the horde. Who's next? Who's next? Who's the boss here of rank 4? Because it looks like we seem... I like the mix of new fights and old familiar faces. Oh... The druids... Or, excuse me, the shaman. Oops. And they all share the same health pool. Just have to stay out of the stupid. Make sure that we heal up. You gotta stay out of the whirlwind, too. Careful now. Oh, I got stunned. Yeah, nothing like a nice, cool, calm, and collected fight killing some dwarves. This is more my style. Alrighty. Almost done, almost done. Taking my time here. And... Boop. Welcome to rank 5. 10 soul splinters. Getting a lot of sealed storm stout brew. Now let's go talk to our orc warlock and see what he has to say about these splinters. Oh dear. Oh dear. Must not let it get too hungry. Eh, uh, here you go. These... These might help. They'll help me with... My problem that I have. That I can't tell you about. As Grizzik mutters to himself again. Will these be big enough, though? It gets so hungry for souls. And when it doesn't get enough, it gets angry. And we definitely don't want to trigger a void apocalypse in the middle of Ogrimmar. Oh dear. Oh dear. He notices you lingering. Oh, the goblin is still here. <laughs> uh, never mind me. Nothing evil going on here. Obtain three super soul splinters from Rumbler's purses, which are rewarded from winning Rumbles. Rumbles are large group fights that pit all players in their arena queue against a challenging enemy. Anyone can start a Rumble by purchasing a Rumble card from Tiana Nevermorn. Now, from what I've been reading about this quest line, there's actually two, are two areas left where we require other people to be in the arena. One of them is this one, where we need to get the Super Soul Splinters from the Brawls. And then another one where we are actually up in the Zeppelin, 
and need to do a little bit of target practice while someone's fighting in the arena. So I am forsaken. That is a shame, but woo! Oh, we can get a Brawler's Guild Tavern. Yes, please. Add that to our collection. The claws we already have. The we need to be rank eight to get the ensemble. Is there anything else I don't have in here? Nope. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and sell off our the rest of our stuff. Remember, patience. And what does the discipline? Well, that's a very basic-looking tabard. Um, let's go ahead and get a normal belt on so we can... Okay, it's got the horde symbol there at the bottom. I mean, for an orc or something like that, you know, a warrior, that's actually a decent looking tabard. Not really Swindle Gear style, though. Alright, let's... Uh... So now, I know I'm going to be doing that no. off camera. Goodbye. And I don't want to continue fighting in the arena. So maybe, let's go ahead and see what else we can do here with our time. Actually, I we were tr I was trying to show you guys at one point and was not able to because um, the game crashed. But now that I've kind of fixed that problem, now would be an amazing time to go ahead and show you guys... Oh, it's a Wrathy Blizzard Brawl right now. Oh, I really like that. But um, we are going to head into the Seething Shore. We also got Ashran. Have I done Ashran before? I'm pretty sure I have. Okay, anyway, Seething Shore is the battleground that was um, introduced in this expansion. I'm going to go ahead and queue up. Average wait time seven minutes, so that's not too bad. So I will go ahead and uh, see you guys on the airship. All right, guys. So a potential change in plans. Um, I've been leveling up my engineering off camera just because I haven't really gone by a trainer. And my engineering is currently at 152. I just finished making a wormhole generator to Kulturas and a wormhole generator to Zandalar. Thank you very much, Quartermaster. Uh, teleports the player to a random location in one of those two areas. So that's fun. But heading back this direction, we actually have an engineering quest from Shuga Blastcaps. So let's go ahead and see what uh, she wants. Hey, how you doing? It's scrap work. Uh, Swindle Gear, I'm glad you stopped by. The Uber Spanner, capable of crafting powerful constructs and its schematic had been lost for years. Intel tells us that a schematic is located in a locked cache in the abandoned junk heap. You'll need to overcharge the electric barrier to gain access. Take my current color and soak up some of the latent current from the sentries there and zap that chest open. Sugar makes the finger guns and explosion sounds. Up for some treasure hunting? Look how I'm dressed. Yeah, of course I'm up for treasure hunting. Always. Use the coiled current color on dead V300 sentries at the abandoned junk heap. Then use it to collect the Uber Spanner schematic from the reinforced schematic cache. Pleasure doing business with ya. Which is... Where? Take the Banshee's Whale to Tiragard Sound. And eight unstable... Oh, it's that engineering area. Okay. Not the engineering area, but the area with all like the alarm bots and everything. That kind of sticks out like a sore thumb in Tiragard Sound. Well, this is a perfect time to uh, go ahead and try out my latest invention here. So, uh... Wormhole Generator... Kulturas. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and see what happens here. Might have to DQ from the PvP. Actually, because I don't know if we'd have time if it queued up. I've been in the queue for about 15 minutes now, and it said it was only a 7-minute queue. Maybe because I'm going for something specific. It's actually probably spot on. It's been a while since we've been over here to uh, Kulturas. Eh, don't get me wrong, I'm happy that we're on a ship, but where are we? Carver's Harbor. 
eh, we're relatively close to where we need to go. If I'm going the right direction, that is. Not really curious about the treasure chests now. Alright, well, if we queue up, we'll see. We'll see. It's got to be relatively quick, though. Like in the next five minutes. It's about a ten minute long battle. If memory serves. Well, it can be longer, like any PvP My battle. My scouts report a dire foe nearby. Kill whatever it is before it can become a real danger. Yeah, how about no? Now, is it this area? Yep, that it is. Oh, it's the entrance to Mechagon. That the gnomes took. Okie dokie. Alright, first mate, you ready to do this? Let's see what's what. Please. You all are nothing compared to uh, what I've been dealing with across the shore there. Now the question is... Oh, from inactive constructs. All right, good. Well, that's three. That's a cool looking rifle. Well, you know, if they didn't give me too much uh, issue. Warning, warning. Intruder alert. Uh -huh. Intruder alert. There you go. I ain't getting paid by the hour here. So we're just gonna take all of you on. And that should, we'll just need one more after this. Oh, whoops. As you were there, Grease. did that one. I specifically recall killing... There you go. Excellent. Now they're probably... Oh. Warning! Warning! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Kind of got a bad voice. It's like the battle droids from Star Wars. Or the super battle droids who look so intimidating they still had the Those are Jedi Starfighters, alright. Okay, there's the chest in question. I was about to ask where that was. Discharges all unstable current stored in the coiled current color. Say that three times fast. Yeah, I've had more shacks. Encrypted Uber Spanner Schematic. Ultra Time Enhancer Mark II. Incomplete notes on how to craft an Ultra Time Enhancer Mark II. Under the function heading it reads, allows the wearer to move through time at the rate of one second for every real world second. Lovely. Schematic Undertuned Quirky Cockles. A failed recipe for a device designed to make one's friends look adorable. In practice, it simply made one aware that quirkies exist. True Iron oven, oven Mitts. Instruction on how to craft True Iron Oven Mitts. An addendum at the bottom reads, Not practical. Very heavy, stiff, and poor heat protection. I like it. Alright, so... That should be everything. Now we need to return the schematic to Shuga. And while I do have the Hearthstone here... Curious. Where in Zandalar will we go? Sorry, we're not going to get to uh, 
the seething shore. Like, the PvP in this expansion just seems to escape us. Okay, where are... Ah, oh. uh, we're in Valdone. We ain't close to where we need to be. What a jip. Okay, now we'll use a hot stone. What are we doing on top of the temple? I don't think Kimball would be particularly happy with that. Though I do make a very attractive looking nose. Yeah, it's more like it. Alright, let's go ahead and just leave the queue. And it's raining. Lovely. Well, I could fly, but... Yeah, come on, Sarah, let's go. As you can see, the child of Torkali actually won the poll in uh, two episodes ago, guys. So, for the remaining of this ex remainder of this expansion, Sarah is going to be our, our land mount. So, good stuff there. Not exactly piratey, but still, pretty cool. What's up? Did you find the schematic? It contains the instructions for building the Uber Spanner. Great. Let me see what it says. In the dunes. This schematic you found is encrypted. My tools are no good on it, not without risking the integrity of the data. However, I do know a guy who can definitely crack this code. Mr. Data Guru Grizzix. If I remember correctly, he's been vacationing on a beach in Voldoon since the war broke out. Of course he's in Voldoon. That'd make too much sense. There's uh, something about not getting the recognition he deserves. Anyways, I'm sure you can convince him to help you. Find Data Guru Grizzix in the Forgotten Marsh in Voldoon. Be good. Which was exactly where I was. Ugh, good times. Alright, well, let me go ahead and travel to Voldoon, guys. We'll head back. And I think that gener that wormhole generator, unfortunately, has a cooldown. And knowing my luck, it wouldn't pop me where I needed to be anyway. So, uh, we'll go ahead and see you there. Alright, so I may have been mistaken. It looks like we turn in the quest just right past here, near the Terrace of the Devoted. Before a young Tortolan can inscribe their... Friends. Yeah, yeah, young Tortolans can wait. The Faithless are pressing their attack. So can you. I thought the Forgotten Marsh was higher north, but... I love that this guy wanted to forget the war by going to another area where there was war. <laughs> Those blasted Naga are assaulting the coast! Well, look at you. Hey, get out of the way! I'm trying to get some sun here, can't you see? What's shaking? Huh. <sighs> What do you want? Oh, good lord. <laughs> Sethic persuasion, heavy as the head, mechanical liberation. Go get him, champ. Ooh, portable audio phone. I like it. It's got helper bots. Basically creating a perimeter. What can I get me one of these? Another amazing thing that you could put in a house if this game had player housing. I will die on that hill. And looks like these helper bots are relatively effective. There's dead snakes all over the place here. Alright, well... I think this may be a good place to go ahead and end the episode, guys. When we get back, I guess we will do some quests with Data Guru Grizzix. And, um... Off camera, I'll go ahead and try and get some of those fights done for um, Brawlgar. Hopefully there'll be people on during the weekend. Oh no, I'm not going to be here on the weekend. It's alright, we'll try and find We'll We'll make it work. If not, then we'll just be stuck and can't do Brawlgar. And then after we're done with these missions, we'll go ahead and start hitting the raids. No worries. It is all good. But, hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. See ya.
Later days, everyone.